Yeah, buddy. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. Today, we are going fishing, doing a little uh, social distancing. Judd's with me. And we're going to go try to find some stripers. Got the old boat and uh, about to put it in. See if we can't go find a school, drop some lines out, and uh, get some fresh fish for dinner because I'm out of fresh fish. So all we're doing is uh, going over some humps, trying to pick up some fish, uh, find schools of fish, which we've found some schools. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, but we're looking for the mother load with some big marks, which would be stripers. These could be whites, they could be stripers, but uh, we might try them here in a minute if we can't find anything else. So that's all we're doing, riding around, trolling for, uh, so we find them on the graph, and then we'll either throw probably an A-rig or a jerk bait, big jerk bait. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Judd is throwing a A-rig, and I'm throwing this jerk bait right here. I actually just caught the smallest striper I've ever caught in my life. So I threw the GoPro on. We found a few fish. Let's see if we can find a few more. That's a better one. I don't think he'll keep, but he's better. And he's running with the boat. Oh yeah, he'll keep. There we go, baby. We found him. I think he'll keep. Oh yeah, what do you think? Heck yeah. Keep a keeper. Let's get him in the middle of the boat. Did you get hit? Uh-huh. There we go guys. First striper, first keeper of the day. Turn the old uh, live well on. Good one? Yeah. Heck yeah. On the old A rig. Nope, he's not gonna keep this time. Does it? Oh. <laughs> well, he's definitely not a keeper <laughs> now. He was 18 though. Yeah, I was surprised that he was 18. Look at that. Two itty bitty stripers. Well, oh, got him on the old spoon, dropped it down, and it's a catfish. What the heck? Surely those aren't all catfish down there. If they are, there's some big catfish. No, I didn't. Little baby striper. <laughs> I guess that's what those... Yeah, and then the big ones underneath them are big striper, I'd imagine. Will they keep? He's not a baby, is he? Yeah. 
him over you. I was trying to get one, I was following it. You're way out there, huh? Keeper? No way, Rig. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, dude. Yeah. Like a Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll keep. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good one. Don't get him on my camera. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Live oh. well she goes. That is a long skinny fish. Spawned out, you think? No. Maybe it's a male, I don't know. Where? You got smoked, huh? Oh my gosh, right there. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, get the net. It's a good one. Oh, I'm glad I was rolling. Dude, I was right at the boat. He was screaming that line. He ain't a giant, but he could fight. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Yeah, they have. Mm, stop it. Got one? Well, that ain't a small one. He going in the cooler. Oh yeah, little baby. We found them, boys. Easy. Another one? Keeper? Net? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a real good one. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, Ooh, that's, that's a good strong. striper. Golly! That's what I'm talking about. Is that same spot? Yep. Alright guys. Let's see if we can get one in the same spot. Yep, little guy. Man, I bet those big striper are in here eating these guys. You're lucky I ain't trying to survive. Yeah. All right, guys, we are done for the day. Uh, I think we ended up with four keeper stripers. Uh, they weren't terrible. We caught a few big ones. We just couldn't get into a school that would last uh, any longer than two fish, really. And we caught a bunch of small, um, really tiny stripers, smaller stripers than I've ever caught before, or ever seen before. Uh, they're like the size of white bass. So I don't know what was going on there, but uh, we had a great time. I'm gonna take these fish home, clean them up, and we are gonna eat good for dinner because I need some fresh fish, like I said in the beginning of the video. And uh, my wife, she's pregnant, she loves fresh fish, so. We got that. Uh, it's starting to rain on us, so we're gonna unload everything real quick, and then I'll catch you guys at the casa. All right, guys, I got this new Bubba blade, and cleaning these big fish. And if I have like a lot of crappie to clean, this thing is awesome. Um, comes with two batteries and four different sets of blades. So it's got your smaller blades up to your bigger blades. I haven't used these big blades yet. I want to try them out on the old strappa. See what they can do. Yeah, money. That's a big blade. That's probably too big for these guys, but 
We'll do it. I'm gonna try it. Got my new cutting board. My buddy Carson uh, made this for me. This thing is awesome. Thank you, Carson. Uh, all that is cut out and then he filled it in with like epoxy or something. I'm not sure what he filled it in with, but I'm gonna leave his Instagram linked in the description. Y'all go check him out. Uh, you can order custom cutting boards, stuff like that. He does all kinds of woodworking stuff. He can make you pretty much anything, but these cutting boards are awesome. Um, I wanna try to get some made to sell to you guys, but we'll see. So, striper, same as a crappie or any fish. We're gonna come in. These blades are so long. I don't think I need these long blades. I'm not even gonna try them. Let's go with the step down. This would be for like, I don't even know what I'd use those for. Big like ocean fish. That's more like it, perfect. So these are the Bubba nine inch stiff and that is the 12 inch stiff. All right, so same as any other fish I clean, come in, cut down, and we're gonna go straight through the ribs. All the way down to the tail. Stop right when you get to the tail. Flip that over. Cut your meat off. All right, so now we got our two fillets. We're gonna wanna take our ribs out. Just like that. Just like that. And uh, on striper, they have a really, really thick bloodline. So you wanna cut out, cut that bloodline out as good as you can. A lot of people leave it in, they like that taste. I do not. And you can just take it, rip it out the middle, just like that, and that's your bloodline. That's really good catfish bait. And that is your finished striper filet. Throw that in the bowl. Same thing on this side. Rip that bloodline out. like that and there are your fillets i'm gonna finish cleaning these fish and uh i'll see you guys in the kitchen all right so we are gonna do a pasta dish today uh i already got the pasta going it's just regular spaghetti got our fillets i'm gonna cut them up into a couple different pieces serving size pieces um and we are basically gonna blacken the fish so what we're gonna do first is um i got some texana brands Lemon zest, olive oil. Uh, I've actually never used this. It smells just like lemons, that's awesome. So we're gonna rub this fish down with a little of this lemon zest, olive oil. This will really help the critter glitter to stick. And if y'all are new to the channel, um, this is critter glitter. It is my spice, it is on my website if you wanna go try it. Uh, we have two different kinds. We have the critter glitter fish and fowl and the critter glitter red, which is for like red meat. So once we have the fish coated in um, olive oil, we are gonna take a pretty heavy dusting of fish and fowl, critter glitter fish and fowl, because um, we wanna get a little bit of blackening going on on this fish. Uh, it really seals in everything, and it'll be perfect on top of pasta. So we'll get a nice coating of critter glitter on there, and that is it. So now we're gonna take some tomatoes, and lemon, we're gonna take a few slices of this lemon. We'll throw that in the pan once we start cooking. Same with these tomatoes. Cut the ends off. And we are going to dice these up and cook them in with the fish. There's four ways is plenty. And we have two bay leaves. So we're gonna throw that in there with the fish as well. So let's go over here to the pan. It is hot. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. Let's start setting our fish in there. 
to blacken. And then we'll take our tomatoes, two bay leaves on there. Let that cook down and then uh, we'll flip them. And then the pots will be ready and we'll mix everything together, lay the fish on top, and it's gonna be delicious. All right, so we have our pasta. We're gonna take a little bit of regular, uh, just spaghetti sauce, meat sauce. We're gonna put a little bit on top, just like that. We're gonna come in here, take a piece of fish, or two pieces of fish. I'm gonna go with two, just like that. Get some of these tomatoes all nice and cooked up just like that so to finish it off put a little lemon on there and that is gonna be an amazing dish um, there's no way around it so let's give it a little taste test get some pasta and fish at the same time it'd be really good if you could add mush mushrooms or uh, zucchini or squash something like that in there but I didn't have any so taste test striper striper pasta we'll call it that mm. that is so good you can taste that that uh, lemon zest olive oil that is super good for striper I'm gonna give that a solid eight and a half 8.6 we'll go technical with it that is that is so good that's super hard to beat so if y'all ever get a chance to catch stripers and don't know how to cook it or want a different way to cook it try this way and i promise you you will not be disappointed that's going to end this episode i hope you all enjoyed it we're going to sit down and have a nice dinner y'all leave in the comments what y'all want to see next in this quarantine time until next time make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and eat good